I don't want to think about the bad things that could happen. I don't let my brain go there. The most dangerous part of the act is when he's on my feet and we go up. With the live audience, like, there's always the chance that something random's gonna happen, like anything. So the act that I do is a hand balancing acrobatic with your chihuahua act. I still not nailed down the name of how I would describe my act. I'm a fifth generation performer on my mother's side. Born in Florida, but raised in New York. And mom is Mexican and dad's European. So I just always kind of just refer to saying I'm a world baby. So I actually grew up into a circus family. Uh, so when you're a circus kid, you kind of grow up learning different things. I was unicycling when I was like seven and juggling when I was eight and doing like walking wire when I was somewhere around that age. And then when I was 10, I started doing hand balancing and it was kind of something where I picked it up rather quickly and from there I just kind of stuck with it. Really the idea with the Chihuahua was very random. I really wanted a, a pet. Um, so my parents got me a Chihuahua because he was small and easy to travel with. It was Scooby at the time, and he would do this thing with his paws when he moves his paws up and down. And one time I was laying on the floor watching TV, and he was sitting like on my back, just hanging out there while my dad was eating. And he wanted whatever my dad was eating, so he started doing this thing with his paws up and down, and it was kind of funny to us. And my dad was like, why don't we bring him to practice and try that trick that you do, and we'll put him on your back and see if he does it there, like maybe it's a trick. So we did, we tried it, it was cute. So then it kind of became like a game, like almost like, all right, cool, like what else can we try? Personally, I feel like the trick to training them is to not make it seem like training. And I can speak from personal experience. When I was a little kid and I had to go practice, I wasn't the biggest fan. I was like, oh, like I gotta go practice now. But when you enjoy practice, it's a little different vibe. Like you're more excited for it. With the pups, obviously I don't want them to be like, oh man, it gets practice time. Like you want them to want to do that. And my expertise, I just want it to be so that they think like we're playing around. Maybe Ross is gonna be mad when he hears this. I always say I'm the most unprofessional professional. I've noticed with performers is they want, they want consistency. You know, they wanna feel like the act is the same every single time. With a live performance, I'm the type who's like, well, every show is not the same because you got a different crowd in every single performance. If somebody's trying to reach out to pet the dog, I might stop and let them pet the dog. Even though the show's supposed to be our time to, as an audience to kind of get away from reality, it also brings us back down to earth to be like, oh wait, he is just a person with his dog. Like, and that almost makes what you do on stage even more impressive. Scooby passed when he was 18, but he performed until he was 12. In a way, we kind of are like, thinking already ahead with like Percy, who's a little bit older now, but it's really hard because he evidently like still loves it. Like before we go out in the show, he like gets into a basket before the act starts. Like he gets super excited to get in there. I don't want to take that away from him. It's, it's really hard. So that get, can get emotional and really tough sometimes. Milo's done all kinds of shows that we already do. So when I'm leaving, I'm just taking the younger one, Milo. He'll still jump in the little travel bag. Like he wants to go, he's ready to go, it's his routine. So it feels bad to tell him like, you're not going on this one. It's harder for me with Percy because Percy, you could say I raised him. I don't know that I could plan like a last performance with him because I wouldn't be able to get through it without like crying in the middle of the performance. For now he's good, but it's, it's looming. You know, I do go to the gym probably like five days a week at least, and then, you know, do workouts and stuff like that. But when we're also working five nights a week, you kind of 
have to balance that out. You know, you don't want to overwork yourself. So it's really me that has to train every day, if you put it that way. Whereas like, they they don't need to train. They, they know what they're doing. Like, they're kind of, I feel like for them, it's kind of like riding a bike. And it's just like a routine. Like, they, they won't forget. Everything that we do, everything that we have is almost like thanks to Scooby because if he didn't start it, like we wouldn't be doing this. Like it just started so randomly that um, I owe like all the gratitude in the world to a little like six pound chihuahua. The thing that I love most about what, what I do is that you get to give people a feeling, that power of being able to, whether it's motivate or lift somebody up is very special and as performers, we get that when we're on stage. If you want to run away to the circus without ever leaving home, like and subscribe now and never miss a trick.